Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'm making this video because... The previous video I've made, I was so caught up with the paradigm shift that I didn't think to explain to you first about the aspect that was missing that I haven't told you guys yet. How this will be my 1.5 video compared to 1 and 2. And how timelines work in my Leviathan universe. Think of it as like an orange. And originally, in this case, have a black marker all around it. And that's the timeline. That line is the timeline. If you go right, your right, then you go into the future. If you go your left, you go into the past. But not only is there forward and backwards in time, there's also sideways. Sideways up leads to the isolation zone, which is where past, present, and future are all one and the same. And they're sideways down, which is limbo, where time just never was. And, um, as of course I already told you in the number two video, how different timelines would be different effects. But here's a fun thing. If you go into the distant past and the distant future at the exact same time, you find yourself in this makeshift timeline called the reversed future, which is basically after this unknown grand disaster and the survivors are trying to recover all the heroes and villains in order to bring back the glory of life before that supposed form of Armageddon, whatever it happens to be. No one knows what that apocalypse was in terms of what kind it was. All they know, and all anyone knows, is that it happened. I just hope that all of this is worth it for you guys. I'm trying all that I can. Like, I don't know how much I could explain. Because it should be obvious by now. So... And just so you know, Mother Time is the embodiment of time in the Leviathan universe. She's the one in charge of the alternate timelines, like depending on each designated reality. Because she's the embodiment of time, she's omnipresent, and also omniscient, if that makes any sense. And I hope I am making things work some way, somehow. And can you believe that Limbo, the sideways down, was discovered by accident? By a squid? SB129, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wow. And um, I hope you guys have a fine time. Um, and if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. I would like to hear your thoughts on what you think about the podcast so far, and if there's anything else I should add or change and such. Because I am doing this because, you know, I, you know how it is. Like, I also like to hear your thoughts and your perspective on my creation so far, see if there's anything you enjoy or disapprove in. And you can be honest. I won't be offended in the slightest. Everyone has their own perspective. So I hope you guys have a fine rest of your time. The fine rest of the month and so forth. And second mention, I'm going to uh, San Diego sometime next month. So there's that. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the time. And until next time, in transmission.